Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I'd like to address the issue of how teachers might approach teaching Black history, um, especially with Black History Month. First of all, if you are te teaching any kind of American cultural studies and literature class, um, I believe that you should kick off the vast majority of you who are teaching broad surveys. Um, kick off a, uh, the American literature discussion with a large historical sweep of uh, history that begins with an acknowledgement of the Native Americans and um, right away uh, discussing the population of African Americans. Um, what this does is it sets the tone for your class wherein they're able to discuss a broader range of issues within the context of American literature. When I was overseas teaching, what was really alarming and disturbing to me, um, but actually not particularly surprising, was the fact that people were teaching English language cultural studies classes and entirely omitting um, the concept of enslavement or genocide. So what you would be then having is large populations of Asian students readying to go with all of their wide-eyed hope to spend a year abroad or visit the United States or journey on some level backpack who had absolutely no concept at all of any kind of um, diversity or ethnicity beyond that which was distinctly through the lens of whiteness um, and uh, an ethno ethnocentric idea of how we came to be a nation. You know, uh, a lot of teaching focuses, as my teenage son told me, focuses on those old white guys in wigs. Um, there's really nothing more boring for a lot of young people than focusing on those people, okay? Not that there isn't relevance, not that we don't have to teach ideas of law, etc. cetera, but um, there's a lot more dynamic and interesting ways for us to address conflict and history if we include all the people who have participated in this nation building project. Um, I think what the larger problem is when people approach the teaching of American literature and history is a failure to understand this idea of nation to begin with, okay? And I want to address this with Black History Month because I think what people do not understand is how nation exists in the imagination and is completely and artificially built, right? You know, you American Studies people, we can you can go and uh, look up any of Benedict Anderson's work. He's kind of a, a greatest hits old philosopher and um, scholar who discusses this at length. But um, a lot of people who are teaching secondary and who are uh, outraged or uncomfortable or still um, reducing the teaching of Black history and literature written by black Americans to only one month a year or one book a year on the syllabus are failing to understand that the entire national project is one that is both imagined and it was at heavy expense to a particular population. So in order for us to move forward, what I'm suggesting is you can start with Black History Month teachers. This is really for teachers. But um, what you really want to do is to integrate black writers in your curriculum across all levels um, in terms of scholarship, in terms of presentations of, of every war, in terms of um, any historical event. You know, I want you to think about this now. What's one of the U.S.'s biggest exports? Weapons, right? 
We're really good at selling lots of weapons to many foreign countries. It's how we make money. Second thing that we export, which everyone loves, is popular culture. Popular culture is built on the backs and the tears and the joy of our African-American population in the United States. And so what I always tell young students is this, all the clothes you wear, all the music you listen to, all the ideas you hold about art and joy and how we conceive of America, really this is the work and the influence of the African-American population on the rest of us, right? It's not that we don't all contribute, but this group has led us creatively, particularly in the 20th century and continues to do so. So um, this is a way of sort of presenting it and rethinking our ideas. I notice what happens in some classes is that, you know, when they start with the literature and the writing in American cultural studies, it starts with the guys in the, in the wigs, the old white guys in the wigs. And it kind of, you know, gets watered down and all of a sudden black people magically appear in, I don't know what, 1960s or something. And it doesn't really come up or briefly in the Civil War. Um, we need to rehaul all this and take a long look. And the way to engage young people is to engage them in things that they love. And what they really love is um, art making and ways of creative expression. And this is where the black population has led us. And so I urge you to reconsider how you're framing Black History Month within your own curriculum and teaching outlook and how you might integrate the teaching of black writers throughout the year. That's it. Um, if you want any more teaching, writing, literature, health tips, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and to my substack at drstephaniehan.com, woman warrior writer, and look forward to seeing you online or in class. Cheers. Aloha.